Hey, very, very cool. Just a store mm. all in one. I saw some folks yeah. uh, eating some ice cream <laughs> and, and sipping some soda. And I would say that it was a pretty comfortable weekend yeah. in a way to, you know, go out and enjoy some of those sweet treats. That's right. You know, we have the hot summer afternoons, good sunshine and still the humidity. And now we've got some of those showers and storms we'd expect this time of the year. Now, some of these could become severe. We've got one or two down in the southwestern areas that we're watching, similar to what we had last night. Most of it staying to our south, but we've got the thunderstorms that have been moving through with some slow movers over Surrey County. We've had some heavy rains there and we may see some of those 10 to 13 mile an hour moving storms drop one to three inches overhead. We just don't have as much low level energy as we had last night with things picking up. Now we might have a little bit more going through the late evening hours, so one or two storms could still move through the Piedmont Trot as we go through 9 10 o'clock, but we're noticing that mid level jet stream wind speed and that trough really beginning to deepen a little bit more and as it really rolls through with some energy tomorrow that'll increase increase our rain chances for the afternoon and hopefully not too much with the severe, but we still will have severe risks the next couple of afternoons. You've got showers over Copeland through between there and Rockford, Shoals, Long Hill and Volunteer. Those showers are starting to fade though just to the south and east and they're generally moving to the east and creeping along. We talked about 10 to 13 mile an hour movements. We've also got some showers just south of the Blues Lake area. You can see here 158 between Kernersville and Summerfield and your Colfax. A couple of showers there, so we might get some organic showers trying to build overhead. The question is, will they be able to make it to the east? We just don't have the kind of instability we had last night going for us. We may have a little bit more energy going into the next few hours. We'll watch for some showers around Westfield too. And notice where most of that thunderstorm activity is tonight. A lot of thunder boomers up through Kentucky and severe weather threats there and then down to our south so far tonight along that trough and we'll be watching for any indication of a severe storm or two off and on shower chances are going to continue through early tomorrow morning before you wake up. So pre dawn shower possibilities a storm or two later tonight. We've got a marginal risk for our Sunday from the triad through Moxville. It includes areas of Reedsville. Really most of the foothills are not included in this now, so it's shifting a little bit farther to the east. That slight risk area does include the triangle. So if you're traveling tomorrow along Interstate 40 or heading out to Chapel Hill, Raleigh or the coast. Watch for any storm damage that could be developing throughout the afternoon and evening hours. Damaging wind gusts are our main concern with heavy rain cells. Some large hail possible isolated tornadoes not out of the question, but it's really the straight line winds that we would see if we have a storm or two form. And through your Saturday night, a couple more showers could get going for us, but it looks limited. It's Sunday by middle of the day. You'll see good sunshine and you'll see temperatures in the low to mid 80s. It's really heating up though. We've got mid to upper 80s expected before shower and storms and those clouds start to spill over as they build with the cumulonimbus clouds, the thunderstorm activity around. And then it gets more active between about three and five o'clock. This is when I'd expect the Piedmont try to see a good bit of showers and storms trying to form. And the question is, will it be right over Greensboro and Burlington? We do think that the southern trend looks likely right now, but that may shift a little bit tomorrow. So this is just a guide for us to show you where those storms may be tomorrow. But we have a good rain chance once we head east of the foothills through the afternoon hours tomorrow with that marginal risk of severe storms. Foothill conditions starting out with 65 tomorrow, highs at 86 and feeling like the low 90s. Rain chances right around 40%. Try at 70 degrees, 88 for a high, 96 for feels like temperatures and a rain chance of 40%. In the mountains, you've got temperatures there at 63 with 77 and feeling like the lower 80s with a rain chance of about 30%. Now, we don't have a huge risk for supercells as we go into the afternoon hours on your Sunday, but we'll watch for one or two that may get going. And by Monday, we'll also talk about a marginal risk for severe, mainly in the eastern triad if we see much in the way of thunderstorm activity at all. Here's that seven day forecast folks 88 degrees on Sunday 84 on Monday and upper 70s with nice conditions going through next week. It's going to feel fantastic.